My name is Saraya Wiles. I've come back to country, which is Giramay. We're at one of the um, campgrounds, which is just past the community of Jumbon. Coming home here was to really feel the connection because this is where our ancestors were. This is where they lived every day. I feel really good to be here and, and, and inspired too that, you know, I'm on country and I'm on country with um, very special people. And for many years for me, I felt like I didn't really belong to anywhere. You know, I was an Aboriginal person, but I was an Aboriginal person who felt lost because I didn't have any cultural knowledge. It's important to uh, make your family connection and know where your family comes from. Being an Aboriginal person and belonging to a particular traditional owner group comes with, you know, certain responsibilities and, and I want to learn those as a woman, as an Aboriginal woman. By coming back here, you can, you know, you can actually say I, I've been there and, and I've, I've felt the presence and I've done the different things that, um, you know, the elders used to do on country. Because I actually see, um, you know, the breakdown um, that a lot of our Aboriginal people are going through. I don't want that for me. I don't want that for um, my family. And I don't want to grow to be an old woman and say, well, I'm Aboriginal, but I don't know anything about culture. I don't know about my mob. And I think that's sad. And I don't want it to be sad. I want to be proud and inspired and I want to be able to inspire other people to say hey you can still find out even if you are 20 years late you can still learn it I haven't had a great life you know as a kid growing up it was pretty hard you know I come from a family that had very strong domestic violence and there was overcrowding because we had so many you know kids and you still see it today, it's still quite prevalent in many indigenous families and, and especially in my own that, you know, I, I wanna make change for the better. Like I don't want it to keep being a vicious cycle. I don't wanna be um, a poor Murray. I don't wanna be an uneducated Murray. Um, you know, I want, I want the rest of Australia and the rest of the world to know that you know, being a black fella is not being uneducated, is not being poor. It's, you know, we in ourselves have so much wealth, um, not in money, but in culture. You need to be strong. And even though, you know, you have um, so many hurdles to jump in life and in, in, and in your, your family, your close family knit home or, you know, you know, there is a light beyond the tunnel. There definitely is. And I mean, I've been through that throughout my life. Like I'm in my mid thirties now. So it's taken me so long to get to a place where I feel so comfortable with myself and I feel so confident in, in learning, um, about the cultural knowledge and, and the areas that I'm connected to because I, I feel that now um, as a, an older, older, mature woman that I'm ready to take that on. Uh, my name is Claude Beron. I'm a get my person, an elder from the district of Mariapa. Granted, Claude has taught me to appreciate um, our country here and to take it all in and when you take it all in you know you're learning at the same time what makes granddad claudia an exceptional man is his his constant love that he gives to his family um, and his dedication to always educating people about the country that we live on and our connection and our cultural values that come with it. Let yourself lose saying Ubiri. Ubiri. Uh, I'm going to get there, Grandad. Yeah. No, you will. I'm, I, I am determined I know. to speak 
fluent. I want to. You gotta to. talk your the damn next time, language you know, back. When I come back, I want to talk language to you. Yep. Well, I think that's uh, what you what you're doing. What you're doing there, I think it's fantastic. You know, uh, reviving something that uh, been dropped aside for a while, and, uh, and everybody seemed to walk away from it. And, my, uh, you know, will bring light to the community and uh, to the younger generation, her uh, tribe, you know, tribal people. The biggest thing I've learned is um, not to be complacent, not to always be too busy to get to know where you come from.